So with the ongoing wildfires across Europe, the continent is once again in the grip of a scorching summer heat wave from France to Italy to Spain and even the Gulf. The countries are once again suffering from record temperatures and our next report gets you the details as to what the weather forecasters have predicted for major cities and how the heat wave will affect the European continent as a whole. Take a look. Wildfires prompted holiday resorts and campsites to be evacuated as Europe was hit by a third summer heat wave. Spain, Italy, southern France, Greece and the Balkans roasted in temperatures of up to 40 degrees Celsius as the southern half of the continent endured yet another period of extreme heat. In the French Alps, authorities urged climbers to delay scaling Mont Blanc because high temperatures had created dangerous conditions, including a greater risk of rockfall and new crevices opening on its glaciers. And grape pickers in the wine-producing regions of southern France were also urged to start work early. I am very hot, very, very hot. It's 42 degrees Celsius. You really have to be forced to go out. Otherwise, you have to stay in the shade. Drink. It's unbearable. According to weather experts, Italy will be hit by its third heat wave of the summer this weekend. Meteorologists are forecasting a weekend on fire with extreme temperatures and humid conditions between Saturday and Sunday. The soaring temperatures come amid warm air masses moving in from the Sahara across Algeria and Morocco. The areas greatest affected will be the plains in northern Italy and the Tyrrhenian Sea coastline, where the mercury is expected to rain above 40 degrees Celsius and Sardinia, which is expected to see 42 degrees Celsius. It's really hard for me and that's why I'm, put, uh, I'm putting my sunscreen. Uh, in Germany it's not so hard and it's rainy and it's uh, stormy and here it's really hard for me uh, because I'm not used to, uh, used to this weather and I have also I have um, sun allergies. That's why I have to put always my sunscreen, uh, 50 plus, <laughs> uh, really high. Experts warn that forecasts suggest the arrival of the most intense heat waves in these areas. Forecasts suggest the soaring temperatures could last until the 27th of August, after which a storm front is predicted to hit Europe. Moving on to Spain, much of Spain was an alert for extremely high temperatures. The hottest place in the country on Tuesday was El Granado in Andalusia, in the southwest of the country, where the mercury reached 45 degrees Celsius. Cordoba, the historic city celebrated for its Moorish, Jewish and Christian heritage, experienced a high of 44.5 degrees Celsius. Even the normally cool north of Spain was hit by extreme heat, with parts of the Basque region sweltering in 42 degrees Celsius. I didn't believe that climate change was real, but now even I think that it is because every day, every summer, I see that the temperature rises more. Every summer, I see that it is more unbearable. When I was little, with 35 degrees, it seemed like a heat wave. And now we are reaching 48. And I see that every time we have more and more changes in temperatures, I think at the end, this climate change thing is going to be true. Apart from Europe, the summer heat is now taking over West Asia. Experts say air temperature alone is no longer the only measure for how livable cities will become in the near future. With bulb, uh, global temperature. In regards to the global wet bulb temperature, if it is in the 30 degree Celsius range or over 86 Fahrenheit, then it becomes a risk on people's health, causing heat stress to human bodies. Uh, in the United Arab Emirates, where humidity can often rise to above 50% on any given day, wet bulb measurements recorded were at levels so dangerously high that if sustained long enough, could cause serious harm to human health. 
these climate extremes raise deep fears for the future because of the catastrophic effects that will affect life on Earth. As a result of increased evaporation of water and high air temperatures, crops are damaged, agriculture collapses and workers become stressed. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.